uh, Muncie, New York, and the town of Ramapo. Both, my name is Officer Omar Lane, this is Sergeant Lane Howell, and uh, the town of Ramapo Police Department. What we're doing is a uh, pedestrian crosswalk enforcement program, and as you see, we, we set up a cone at 140 feet away from the, uh, the pedestrian crosswalk, and what that is, is that's a buffer zone, and that's the point at which the uh, Governor's Traffic Safety Committee and the National Highway uh, Safety states that the driver's perception at, at a 30 mile an hour speed roadway would be able to see a pedestrian a crosswalk, understand that their intention is to cross in that crosswalk and, and go ahead and cross. So, and they need to stop for that pedestrian. So we did that, we are set up at, a, at 140 feet away. So when Sergeant Howell was crossing back and forth today, steps into that crosswalk. stop for him, we're stopping them down the road with two uniformed officers and they're being given uh, basically an educational uh, educational material handouts that state what the laws are and that they have to obey uh, pedestrians in the crosswalk, they have to stop the pedestrians in the crosswalk because it is the law in New York State. And that is typically not done here in Rockland County? Uh, well, it is the law but pretty much nowhere is it really enforced. Uh, New York City is enforcing it now, I know. Uh, and we're, we're trying to start to enforce it here. I know Albany, the Albany area is trying to enforce it as well. So it, due to a lot of, we have a lot of pedestrians being struck and, and we decided this is something we need to do. I've gone to several trainings with the Governor's Traffic Safety Committee where, where they show you how to do these enforcements and uh, what type of steps to take. And we've gotten uh, a lot of people on board uh, McDonald's, 7-Eleven in, uh, in Muncie, Rockland Kosher, and New Square Emergency Services. We've, we put uh, coupons out there for children who are being safe wearing their bike helmets and are crossing safely. Uh, we, we've got a lot of partners on board. The community's been on board you know, thanking us for taking these, uh, these efforts and, uh, and, and doing this to make them safer. And it's not just about the vehicles, it's also the pedestrians. Pedestrians who are just crossing diagonally in the, uh, the crosswalks. That's also you know, extremely dangerous and uh, we see that a lot where, where that, those are the pedestrians being struck. The ones who aren't in the crosswalks, the ones who are actually going out there putting themselves in, uh, in dangerous way. You know, where, where the driver might not be expecting them to be somewhere other than a crosswalk. Okay, and in your first trip across um, Route 306 here in the crosswalk, how many vehicles did not stop for you? We get, there's been several. They'll go two, three at a time before some will finally stop. Uh, if you want to watch, I can be almost halfway into the roadway and the cars will just keep on driving right on by. They won't, they won't even slow down. I'll be feet away from their car. Finally, somebody will stop and I'll go across. I'll thank them and then we'll turn around and we'll do it again. We're getting some compliance. We're getting a lot more cars not stopping than we are stopping.